Hello everybody, welcome back. This is the Benjamin and you're watching Let's Play Xenogears, the greatest JRPG on Earth. So, last time, we are in the midst of a little... The Sargasso Point, which is basically where the third gate's going to be. We got slightly sidetracked. Went to a nice little... Uh, there was a fork in the road, we took a right. We found ourselves a nice little save point. Now we're going to be heading to the left. Oh look, we haven't seen these guys in a while. So let's see if they're the same. Let's see if they're made out of the same stuff. I have a feeling that they're a little bit stronger. Or maybe no, maybe these are the same dudes. If that's the case, then we're in good shape. That means that uh, we should be able to bust through them pretty quickly. Oh look at that. So I have a feeling their HP is a little bit higher than before. But uh, yeah, they're not too bad. So that means that. Uh, Okay, so one of one of our one of these guys is not going to be able to hit anything. So I yeah, just use Kensuai, just smack him in the face. There we are. So that's kind of nice. They have some enemies that are not too hard to kind of substitute for some of the other enemies that are a little bit more difficult. So let's uh, let's continue to press on. See what see what else is uh, ahead of us. And to do. All right, do do do. And there's there's some whooshing, there's some wind that's going this way. It's kind of annoying, but I think we should be able to press on through. All right, so let's, let's see if anything's on this side. I hope this doesn't get too mazy. I forget if it does actually. I decided to run away from that battle. It didn't see, really seem worth it. Uh, but what ha what have we ahead? What have we ahead? And uh, anything up here? Actually, you know what? I, I know what's going to be happening now, uh, aside from the battle. So if we make our way up here, just killed some mermen. That was okay. Uh, then we end up in here. Yay! So that gives us a dark rod for Ellie. And this is not an actual treasure box, but it's a switch. So you remember how uh, that last tunnel, that last uh, little Y axis we were at, had that wind blowing. Well now, if we go back there, we're actually gonna find that it's not gonna be blowing at all. We just turned off the, we turn off the current, so to speak. Because this is exactly how these, uh, this is exactly how underwater nature works. All right, so yeah, that's, that's, that's nothing. That's, that's seaweed. You can just kind of bust right through there. So then we want to go through all the seaweed because it's kind of in the way. Kind of indicates that this is like a really hidden part. Now we're going to be jettisoning our way through. It's not special. It's not just magical, guys. Love it. All right, so we're just going to keep going through. And what's going to be up here? Something, something good, I hope. Ah, oh, something very good. Okay, cool. Death blower two, which allows you to get your level two death blowers if you don't have them. So those accessories are useful if you haven't really developed your death blows, but if you don't have them, it's not really necessary. Now we're at the third gate. All right. It's been guarded by an angel of some sort. Oh God. Is that the, is that the nano machine chick? Oh look, who's that? <laughs> Raton. Uh-oh. Huh. Interesting. So is this guy also a cyborg? So I'm guessing, just like, uh, Oxen, this is a, a human mechanical combine of some sort, I guess. Huh. Emerelda. Ah, okay, so this is what, this is what, uh, Krillian was going to be unleashing on us. So this battle actually isn't too hard. Let's use the booster. Uh, Emerelda is not one of the one of the tougher enemies, although we're probably going to have to use... Yeah, just so we can stay alive, we're going to fix the frame of Mr. Sita and Yuzuki. Everything else should not be necessary. Now the Crescents. Ouch. Yeah, she does a lot of damage. Uh, I should... Mention that she can she can pack a real punch, but 
overall she's not that hard. Um, I don't remember ever having any trouble with this battle or dying or what have you. You just have to be... You have to use your booster and you have to be quick. Because she operates a lot like you, is that she can use, uh, like, incredibly powerful attacks like that. So, stay vigilant. And then just hit her in the face like this. Okay, so we've done exactly zero damage to her. Hooray! Come on, D D Danuzuki. Let's let's hit him. Let's hit him. Come on. What's what's going on here? All right. Boom. All right. There we are. Nice job. Good job, Bart. At least got a level one attack in there. Very nicely done. Okay. And as to this, uh, she does have some spells that she can use, which will hurt. So it's not like the, it's not like she does little damage. She just doesn't. Uh, she does not have a lot of HP, so that's kind of, that's kind of, uh, advantageous to you. And apparently these attacks will never, ever, ever hit her. So, yeah, see, she's dodged every single one. She's got, she's got some evasion skill. I'm gonna have to, I should probably use Wild Smile on her, see if that works. So, Fujin, and then, ba-boom. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just a tackle to the ground. So, yeah, this, this might hurt. Ow. Ow. All right. Oh, come on. All right. Come on. All right, let's uh, use Wild Smile on her. Get that get that evasion down. Let's make it a little easier. Oh, okay, so that didn't do anything. All right. So I guess, uh, I guess we're kind of SOL in that regard. Okay, we did some damage. She blocked it, but she, you know, wasn't the worst thing in the world. All right, we're going to go for the level 3 attack, I think. Just to make this a little easier. All right, so Bart, hit him. Ah, oh, man. Emerelda, or in the Crescens. Ah, ouch, ouchies, ouchies. All right, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some level three attacks with everybody just because, just because, because it's more fun that way. All right, so one more swing. Ow. I mean, maybe I should just use like the the smaller attacks because they seem to be. Yeah, there we go. So now, now uh, Bart should be able to attack with his level three. Okay, so that didn't hit. All right, so now I think everybody should be able to do it. Right now she's going to use some, like, scary elemental attack thingy. It just looks threatening as all hell. Ouch. All right, so here we go. The Raibu. Whoa, yeah -ha! Yeah, I mean, I could have just used all the level one attacks, and that probably would have been fine, but this is, this is a little bit more fun. Dance wave. Yeah, fortunately, these almost never miss. They can miss, ladies and gentlemen. It is possible for these things to miss, but it's not always the case. Oh, yeah, look at that. Boom. Okay, so she's almost dead, thankfully. We're gonna... Ouch. Yeah, see, I knew that wasn't gonna hit, so that's why I used the triangle attack. Because I had a feeling that was not just not, just not happening. Right. Ow. Ow. Boom. So all the level one attacks should be should be fine. And just to just just to make sure, because after this, there's not going to be another battle right after this. So you can you can use fuel. It's it's fine. All right. So now we're gonna we're gonna rep boot. Tap tap. Tap to tap tap tap. All right. So I I believe I believe that I could be deceived. And Bart, do your thing. Do your thing, Bart. Dun. Woo! Ouch. That is a really cool move, though. I like that. It's fun. Um, and so now... Yep, we got him. Just a couple hits. And we won. See? Uh, there was not really any major threat in that battle. It was fairly straightforward. Uh, win mode. Oh, yeah, we're, we're getting, like, a bunch of ether spells. And I can probably, like, just kind of go over the, with the menu and show them what they do. But I almost never do it. Who the hell's Kim? Heard that name before? Oh, interesting. So what's going on? Oh. So it looks like uh, this Rattan guy's just like, oh, this this is interesting. <laughs> Daughter, huh? He doesn't. She also doesn't seem to mind that she, if she, if we have her join us, then that's perfectly okay. That's really interesting. Huh. Well, who knew? Does that mean we still get to destroy the gate? What's going on? 
Oh, baby. It looks like we have. It looks like we have. Well, that's impressive. So does this mean we're going to get to see Solaris? Does this mean, like, the entire... Does this mean, like, the entire country of the Skyrike is suddenly going to be showing up? Because that would be really awesome. That's what I'm hoping for. Hello! Now, oh. so I guess she's on our side now. Kim, 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 Kim. Calling Faye Kim, that's a little confusing. Oh. What the hell is it saying? Are you its mother? Kim is Kim. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> oh boy. I think Kim I think this woman is a little confused. But I mean she's not killing us, which is cool. I mean she was before. Huh. Well well. So in case you guys were wondering, you can also use Emerald's gear, the one that we just the Crescent's the one we just literally smashed into a billion pieces. By smash smashed into a billion pieces, I mean just defeated her in army combat. Long dream, huh? Yeah, it came will work. Huh. Oh. Huh. Yeah, you're you're her father. Congratulations. Well, the good thing is that Elmerelda is a lot more useful than Choo Choo. Choo Choo is pretty much the most worthless character in this entire game. Whereas Kim actually is quite good. Or not Kim, I'm sorry, Emerelda. God, I'm getting mixed up, see? You see? Oh. Oh. That sounds tragic. Well. Sounds like uh, Emerelda was part of some other... Has been around for a long time, I guess. She's, uh, she's quite old. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go with that. Really, truly. Really, really. <laughs> Who's this old lady? <laughs> she's like 18, man. Because yeah, I know, like, both Faye and Ellie are, like, basically, like, they're late teenagers, something like that. They're not even in their 20s. Oh, man, now she's... Ellie's getting all jealous. She's jelly. She's jelly. Faye's Kim. Emerelda. Emerald hair. Oh, yes. Yes, I definitely remember now. Thanks, Emerelda. You're such a nice person. We appreciate you. And all you do. Huh. Mr. Yuzuki. Uh huh. Well, well. Yeah, we gotta... We gotta stop this Krullian guy. He seems like he's up to no good. Oh, telegram from Shivat. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, guys. I think we're about to see Solaris. What does Solaris what is Solaris gonna look like? And how awesome is it gonna be? Are we finally gonna be able to go to the Sky Reich? Find out in the next episode of Let's Play Xenogears. This is the Benjamin and thank you guys for watching.